I'm Buckos. Today we got a lot of people mad. We got ending leaks. Where we also got a dev who responded. He said some of the most logical stuff ever, and uh, people people got mad. We're, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about that story. Drop a thumbs up if you're high for this game and you're picking this up, regardless of what they tell you, because they truly do not want you buying this game. They want to be pushing their agenda. That's what they're all about, okay? And apparently they're getting big mad because of our first story. We're gonna talk about the ending leaks. We're gonna talk about like a bunch of other stuff, the early copies, what the dev said in just a little bit. So fast on your seat belts because Hogwarts Legacy is already number one shilling game on Steam and PS5 and number two on Xbox. That is. Pretty massive, pretty massive, right? And this news happened back in January, and right now we're in that it is number one across all the board, everywhere. It is number one because the the Wokies that the, the more they try to tell you to not buy, people are buying more. And the situation here is that I dug a little bit in. I'm still not 100% with J.K. Rowling because the situation here is that Hogwarts Legacy director responded to the controversy surrounding J.K. Rowling's views and the situation here is that I looked a little bit into it still I'm not 100% sure but bruh like this is truly wild the same people that are canceling her they want free speech but the second other people get free speech you cannot have it okay you're wrong, wrong. you're toxic you're problematic uh, you're transphobic in this situation and they are canceling her even though she says she believes in science she believes in biology but she still support the trans rights Bruh. She's getting cancelled for simply believing in science and biology. And she's still supporting people, every human rights. She's getting cancelled for that. I mean, you can disagree with her, you can agree with her, I mean, but, but you are cancelling people, I'm not saying you, but, but people that are trying to cancel her, people are cancelling her for simply believing in biology and science. And she's being a decent human by supporting the everybody rights. That is crazy. And the, the, the woke moths, they're working double time. They're working over shifts right now. They, they, I mean, god damn. A uh, dev responded and they got even more mad. Because Hogwarts Legacy director, in fact, a director came out. Director responds to controversy surrounding J.K. Rowling's transphobic view. Oh, god, god, god. And he says some of the most logical stuff ever and people still got BOMBO GOD! He says that I think for us there are challenges in every game we've worked on. This game has been no different when we bumped into those challenges. We went back and refocused on the stuff that we really care about. We know our fans fell in love with the wizarding world and we believe they fell in love with it for the right reasons. We know that's a diverse audience for us. It's making sure that the audience who always dreamt of having this game had the opportunity to feel welcome back. That's a pretty good response, you know? That they have a home here and that it's a good place to tell their story. My god, they simply just want to tell their story. They simply are making game because they're passionate about it. I really hope this game bangs because right now a lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, don't let anybody tell you differently, but I'm about to do the same. Right? I'm about to commit the sin, but it might sound logical. It might not sound logical and you can criticize in the comments below for sure. It's your right. I'll give you. It's your birthright, my man. It's your birthright. God damn it. The situation here is that a lot of people are looking to buy this game because they love it genuine reason and a lot of people are buying this game because they, they don't love this game but they want to prove the woke is wrong it's your decision at the end of the day but that's kind of dumb right like that like you are trying to buy this game to prove people wrong that you do not even know but again you are trying to fight this fight that's perfectly fine i can respect that but again i want to tell you man we are in this uh unfinished triple a gaming culture so I, I just hope that this game bangs for the right reason not just to prove people wrong i hope this game is amazing for, for the fans and i i want to see the devs succeed i want to see this game succeed not because i want the, the walkies to be proven wrong i just want to have a good damn game a good story game to play because it's been quite some time yeah god of war ragnarok was amazing people that love Elden ring they loved it as well pretty good stuff but i want this game to genuinely be good for the right reasons like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree and uh, this is important guys God of War ending was leaked out. Last of Us ending was leaked out. The entire God of War was <laughs> leaked out entirely. And it's gonna happen with Hogwarts Legacy. Expect spoilers soon. Copies of the game already being sent out. 
to the stores and we can see six copies of Hogwarts Legacy uh, on their Shoney Pony 5 on the PS5 and more and more copies are gonna be getting out there in the coming days. It's just a matter of time. So if you care for spoilers, I personally don't. If you see a leak, just send it over my way over on Twitter. It hypes me up even more. But those of you that care, this is your warning because it is really gonna get leaked out. But ladies and gentlemen, you wanna see what IGN did with the, the 2 out of 10 review for Hogwarts Legacy? Bruh. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because a dev actually responded on the multiplayer question for Hogwarts Legacy.